Hiya! My name is Rachel, and this is a little introduction to who I am. I'm 21 years old. I'm a bit of a nerd, so I've decided to coin a new phrase just for this video. Nerdtacular. I figured that words that exist don't tend to necessarily explain my absolute enjoyment of being a nerd, and my obsessions with things like Disney, and England, and Harry Potter, and stuff like that can't be halted by a word like nerd and its negative connotations. I'm a senior in college, which means these are the last few months before I actually start to see what the rest of my life is going to look like. I'm a journalist turned film nerd that really, really likes storytelling, and it's the fact that I like stories that I decided to come here. The real reason that this video exists, though, isn't just to introduce who I am. I really wanted to talk about beginnings. Since this is my first YouTube video, I figured it's just the right place to be doing that. So I decided to compile a list of things that I thought of when I started to think about beginnings, starting YouTube and otherwise. A beginning can mean a lot of different things. It can mean going to school, or moving to a new place, or making new friends, starting a new hobby. The one thing that they all share is that they're all a little bit scary. So that's number two. Beginnings are always really frightening. When I've tried new things in the past, I've always found myself giving up because I don't feel totally confident in new experiences. Take this YouTube video for example, I made two or three iterations already, wishing that I could have uploaded them but then not feeling confident enough to think that people would want to watch it. The fear that we feel though, and the fear that I felt when I started making YouTube videos, is not something that we should totally take to heart. Don't be deterred. In other words, don't let something that scares you prevent you from doing what you really want to do. I've learned from trying to make YouTube videos that the thing that is most important is that I keep trying until I come up with a product that I'm really proud of. Once you do make something you're proud of, it's really exciting. And even if you don't, it's the journey that matters, right? I've never really believed that the journey is the destination, at least in regards to travel, even though people always say that. But I do think it applies here. Because the most important thing is to take every opportunity you're handed. Even if you're not sure something's going to come of your efforts, who knows what will happen when you actually attempt it. Sometimes it's the smallest choices that make the biggest difference. The most important thing about beginnings, though, is that you remain true to yourself. I could have come here today and started making a YouTube video with my hands in the air and feeling totally enthusiastic and crazy. And I know that that would have maybe come off as a little bit more exciting, but that wouldn't necessarily be me. The way that occurred to me to explain this a little bit better is through an anecdote. In elementary school, I had this planner that had this quote in it. It said, be the best you can be. And next to it was a little picture of a cute cartoon bumblebee. And for some reason, even though it was totally cheesy and I was really young at the time, I really took that quote to heart. And about 15 years later, I still think about it sometimes. I guess it's because it's really true, and maybe one of the truest things we can say about life even. The best we can be is ourselves. When we aspire to be something bigger than ourselves, it doesn't necessarily come out how we planned. The moral of the story though is that beginnings may be hard, but when it comes down to it, if you are who you are and you do what you love, you're going to make someone happy, and even if you don't, you're going to make you happy. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. 